Hello guys, how are you doing? So welcome back to my reactions. And as you can see, I'm going to be reacting to um, a new League of Legends uh, cinematic that got released. Um, I don't know if it was uh, today or yesterday. It was uh, not long ago. Um, and yeah, it's it's going to be my first reaction to something of this kind. Uh, now. I know League of Legends, and I actually play it sometimes, uh, even if not seriously or anything. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a really good game, and this is actually one of the things that I love the most about Riot Games. Um, it's these animations that they do, and everything outside of the game. It's it's just amazing. Um, now I, I watched most of the previous um, cinematics that they released. And uh, I enjoyed most of them. They like the quality of them. They have been increasing, like quite a lot in the last years. And I mean, probably my favorite uh, my favorite ones would be the Ari one. I think it's called A New Dawn. And there's also these uh, a, mo a more recent one, uh, the Awaken one. That was that was a really good one. I, I mean the the all the all animation of that cinematic was just insane. Like the characters look so real, and I loved every every single bit of it. Like from music to like everything, it was just phenomenal. And every time I I, I see something like this getting released, something new, um, I I always get really excited to watch it because I know it's probably going to be really good, and it 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 always gives me the the chills to watch all of these things. So, uh, I must say that I'm not really on pair with like, League of Legends related stuff now. I, I know there are some new champions, um, but I'm kind of away of the game uh, lately. Um, but yeah, I, I still know most of the characters. I, I don't know which characters will be in this, in this cinematic. I know it's uh, about Star Guardian skins probably. Um, but that's about it. I, I don't uh, remember exactly which uh, Star Guardian skins got released like lately. I know the first ones, but uh, some new ones might be in the game now and I don't really know about it. Um, anyway, I'm just expecting a good cinematic. It's it's going to be a short one, like three minutes. Uh, but yeah, I, I wonder how good it's going to be. And I hope you guys are ready. And let's start it. Is that the uh, Nico and Shia? Damn, a dragon. <laughs> There's a cinematic with these two already. It was also pretty cool with Zed. So these are their new Star Guardian skins. Oh, this is really nice. This music. Oh, it's Ari, Misfortune, and the other ones. Nico looks really cool. Oh, it's uh, Zoe. So these are the four of them. There should be five, right? Oh. 
That's like our ultimate. Bad one here. Who is it? Oh, it's Ari! Nice! Ari is probably my favorite League of Legends character, so I really like her. Oh, that looks insane. That's really nice. So, um, I was expecting five skins, but it's probably only four. So it's a uh, Rakan and Shaya, and it's also for Zoe and Nico. Uh, that's what I'm expecting from this uh, cinematic. So I must say that the skins look really nice. I mean, they look basically like the other Star Guardian skins. Um, but yeah, they look definitely definitely great, and especially Nico's one. Um, I I I don't really know. I mean, <laughs> they really gave a Star Guardian skin to to Rakan, so that's interesting as well. Uh, I don't I, I don't know if he if he was the first male character to get one. Um, but yeah, that's definitely interesting. Um, so yeah, the the cinematic was really well done. I mean. The animation was really nice, and it was a bit different from Awaken. I, I mean, in Awaken, they use this um, kind of animation that looks like like real, and it was a, a different style. That's what I mean. But this one was more like anime style, but it still looked really cool. Um, but yeah, I. Uh, I was not expecting Ari to to show up in this one. To be honest, I, I mean this should be about the the new Star Guardian skins. Uh, so I was not expecting it, but I, en I I enjoy it. I mean I really like her, so it's not like it bothers me. Anyway, cinematic was good. Um, we saw a bit of like a, a fight. They were like fighting at the start, and then Zoe appeared, and it it. I don't know if I got it right, but it seemed like Zoe was like acting like the bad one here. I don't know if that was the case or not, but it was still fun to watch uh, like all of these characters, and they look really good. The only bad thing about the cinematics is that most of them are really short, so I I I don't know if it's going to be possible any day, but. Riot Games should really start considering like making a movie or something like that because they have a lot of potential here and you know the game is pretty popular and people enjoy playing it even if I mean it's the type of games that can get you mad sometimes but I mean there's a lot of games like, like that so just part of it um, but a big part of this game for me, it's it's not really about the game itself. It's more about the other things related to it. Like all of the things Riot Games uh, does in their tournaments, for example. Like w when I watch Worlds, I'm always really interested to see like their openings and all of the cinematics they make for it. That's the the kind of thing that really makes me like Riot Games so much. I mean. I must say that I like playing the game, uh, it's, it's a fun game, but I enjoy much more watching the other related stuff about this game. Uh, it's much more fun to me to, to look at all of, the, all of the work they put into these animations and these cinematics that they make. And also when they did the, a New Dawn uh, cinematic, it was really cool that they re released the 
a video along it uh, showing like how, how they made dual uh, cinematic or like parts of it and all of the personnel involved in making it and that's that's really cool to to actually be able to see that and you you can already see like how much work uh, they put into that and how good it becomes so it it always makes me really happy to see them releasing stuff like this and i mean worlds it's just around the, uh, around the corner and i can't wait to watch it i mean i i'm interested in watching the games because it's always exciting to 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 see those new plays and new teams and new players uh, like um, sh uh, showing up and proving that they're really good um but yeah um a big part to me it's watching mostly those those things that they have so, like if you if you guys are uh, like remember in I, I think it was two years ago. I don't think it was last year. Um, I'm not too sure. Uh, actually, it was in the last two years that they started. I mean, two years ago, they, they did that opening in the World Ceremony um, with the Dragon, and that was already insane. Like, no one was expecting that, to have that um, augmented reality Dragon in the... In the arena that that was so insane um and yeah it, it was basically uh the start of that kind of animation in these type of uh ceremonies uh, at least on league of legends i don't know about uh, the other things um also we saw in last year that they released um uh, the the opening ceremony of the world championship uh, and they used the the KDA uh, characters. Uh, I think it was Ari, Kaiza, uh, Evelyn, and Irelia, if I'm not wrong. Um, I'm not sure if... No, it, it wasn't Irelia. Uh, it was Akali. Ari, Akali, uh, Kaiza, and Evelyn. That's it. So they used those four characters with their KDA skins, and they made the augmented reality versions of it. And... Uh, I must say that when I watched that cinematic uh, for the first time, uh, I was actually watching it live. Um, and I was like blown away completely by by everything that they did there. It, it was it was insane. Like when they appear for the first time, they really look like it's uh, people cosplaying them. Uh, and I, I saw some people reacting to this as well. And some people, some people got confused at the start, like they they had the idea that it was pe actually people cosplaying them. But after a while, you realize that it's really the characters there, and it's insane how they do that whole an animation. And I just hope they can do more like that because it looks insanely good, and they totally nailed it. I mean, you could even see like the shadows of the characters. And they looked uh, real, like the shadows moved exactly like the characters. It it had no flaws that I uh, that I noticed at least. And yeah, my point is, I just hope Riot Games keeps doing stuff like this because I'm pretty sure most of the community really loves everything about these kind of things that they do. Um, but yeah, uh, this was a. Uh, a really nice trailer it was actually the first one that i was able like to react to since i i haven't been doing this for a long time uh, but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in my next videos so see you